If you need to create a photo booth template for your next event, Paddy is the only tool that you will need. Uh, you don't, you won't need Photoshop, and you won't need Adobe Elements. You won't need GIMP. You don't need any of the other software that you may or may not be using. I mean, I've seen some people. I've actually seen some people create photo booth templates using Microsoft Word. I actually still don't fully know how they pulled it off, but whatever, they were able to pull it off. Either way, if you're using any one of those softwares and you want to get away from using it, Paddy is the only tool that you need. So with Paddy, you've actually got two different ways to start creating your photo book templates. You can start in the marketplace and you can start editing any one of our pre-created designs. We've got designs for weddings, holidays, uh, and you can see all the subcategories, Christmas, Valentine's, New Year's, etc. We've got school designs, birthdays, and we've even got some miscellaneous and some blank designs with you know some uh, sample placements um, that you can start to choose from. Your other option is to create an entirely new design from scratch. This is what a brand new design with nothing on it looks like. First, let me show you how to actually edit a design that we have in the marketplace. All right, so we'll go over to weddings and let's choose this design. Just in case you're wondering, the names here are pronounced Janita and Adeniyi. Those are my cousins that were married over the summer, and we did a template for them. Um, but with Patty, you can you can start editing this design super simple, really quickly. Um, we'll just change the name, right? Which is what most people will only need to do for their event. So we'll change this to Michelle and Michael, right? So the name is a little bit too wide for where it's currently placed. So I'll make it a little bit wider and the name is still kind of a little bit too big so I'm just gonna double click actually whoops I'm just gonna single click then click on fonts and let's drop this down to 80 all right so now the fonts a little bit smaller and it fits it fits better into that location whoops I'm gonna use the keyboard to bring it over a little bit more and kind of get it perfectly perfectly placed I think that's good and then again, for most people, the only things that you're really gonna need to be able to change are the names on the event, um, as well as the date. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this because our wedding that we're doing will be May 3rd, 2018. All right, and I mean, our template is pretty much done, right? What else do we really need to change here? Depending on what you wanna do, what else really do you need to change here? Um, but if you wanted to, if you wanted to get a little bit deeper, you could click on certain elements. You can click the delete button to remove them if you didn't like it for whatever reason. Um, I'm going to press undo to bring all that stuff back. Or let's say if you wanted to change the placement, let's say I want to move this flower. I can click on the flower then click the unlock button and then move it over, you know, whatever it is that I want to do. 99% of the things on this template can be changed right it just really depends on how much work you want to put into it but again we've got all of our pre-designed templates so that you don't actually need to put in that work all right now let me show you how to do a blank design to create a design from scratch from patty all you need to do is click on the big pink button that says create a design from the dashboard here we're brought to a blank canvas the only thing that's on here is a photo uh, placeholder so when you export the software to your photo booth software this is where the transparent area will be that your photo booth software will place the photos. Now, let's say if I want more than um, this single photo, right? I'm gonna resize this just like that. Then I'm gonna click this plus button and then it's gonna add an additional photo placeholder um, or you can delete that. It, but let's say you want them all to be the exact same size. You can just duplicate the single photo that's there. And then you'll get another photo that's exactly the same size as the first one. So let's say we want to bring this down over here, duplicate that one more time, and then bring bring this other uh, placeholder to the right. And we've got key keyboard shortcuts that work the same as Photoshop and other software. So I'm going to shift click, and now they're all grouped together. And I'm going to use that to help me align it on the screen a little bit better. All right, so that's a better location for the photos, so we'll leave it right there. Now to add text, we can go over to the text area, click on your header, and let's say we want this to say, congratulations. We'll make 
make this a little bit bigger. And then we can change the font, right? Click on it, click fonts. Let's find something fancy. That's because congratulations is a fancy word, so make it nice and big. Now we've got congratulations. And who's getting married? Hmm, let's see. Alright, we'll say Beyonce and Sean. Yes. Right, so we'll put that there. Let's change the font. What font can we? What kind of font can we put there? All right, yeah. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. We will. Let's just move this around a little bit. And I mean, there you go. Your design is done. But you probably want a little bit more than this, right? You don't want it to just be a white background. We've got all types of backgrounds and elements that you can use on your designs. So you can choose a different color if you wanted to change the background colors of the design, or you can choose an actual photo. So we'll go to abstract and let's see, what do we want to use? Still loading, so give it a little bit of time um, as you're trying it out on your own. Um, let's try this. Okay, that's more Christmassy, so we'll leave that alone. Eh. All right, this this will work for now. So we'll change the we'll change the font color on this because it doesn't really look it doesn't really pop out too well on the on the background. So you click on the text over here on the left. You can choose the color of the font. And if you want, you can also change the transparency if you have to. Right. So you've got all of these options in Patty. Like I said, you no longer need to use Photoshop whatsoever. So once you're done with any background stuff that you want to add, you can go to our elements section and you can add or find other items that you can add to the design that might spruce it up and make it a little bit nice and nice, right? So we'll add this flower. This flower is a little bit too big, so I'm going to resize it and put it down over here. Bada bing, bada boom. If you're happy with it and you're ready to go, that's really all you need to do. That's our quick rundown of Patty and how to create a photo booth template without using Photoshop. If you have any questions or if you need help with anything, start a live chat with us while you're in the design editor actually. You can click right on this chat icon and you can start sending your messages and we'll help you out.